Uh, I'm just, I guess I'm just doing a Mars Critiques Your Clips, but it's live this time. So chat, I want your honest opinion on these clips. So, every time I do these, people tend to disagree with my rating. I want people to judge them, and then I'm gonna judge your judgments. That's how this is gonna work. Like, can you critique these clips? Do you know what makes a hot clip? I doubt you do, and I'm gonna make fun of you for it. Between each clip, you will have a few seconds to pause, collect your thoughts on whether they are holy grail or trash. No. Let's begin. This is definitely a Joker clip. Ooh. What was that image? Okay, what'd you guys think of that? I think it was pretty good. I think it's practical. I think I could see it happening in a real game. I d it didn't look staged at all. That's a, that's a full stage combo with a roll read into a hot little setup. That was good. That was really good. That was actually a good clip. Like, that could happen to MKLeo. That's how good that clip is. Like, it wasn't anything too crazy, but I appreciate it. 8 out of 10, I'll take it. Two missed texts. To be fair, those are hard texts to hit. Right here, you probably missed your tech. See what I mean? Like, you probably pressed shield here anticipating that you tech, and you locked yourself out of the tech window here. I don't, I don't know if it was 60 frames or whatever, or how the rule works, but it was actually like almost a 50-50. You know what else? I would have DI'd this back air like up. <laughs> and not had the tech. Oh, it's a Ganon clip. Oh, it's a Diddy clip. Two down airs. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh my. Three out of 10, that was unexpected. Ha. Huh? It, it was a little reversal clip, so. First of all, what is this Diddy Kong doing? That is not how you edge guard. And second of all, if you see somebody coming off stage in your Diddy Kong and you're recovering, and you're like, oh, I made a terrible mistake. Just hold up B. You, 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 you begged for this right here. You begged for this. Boosh. You donated it. <laughs> Nine out of 10, he called out Diddy up B. It was mid, it was a mid clip. It wasn't anything crazy. I respect the reversal. Oh, Little Mac aerials. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a funny one. I wouldn't call it a good clip. I'd call it funny. I'd, I'd call this Sephiroth a level four bot. Two out of ten. My cousin cried on the phone about this five days ago. Not a great clip. Kind of trash. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Did you know that the average Mars sub is actually considered to be a genius? Could be you. Could be you. That's hot. <laughs> oh, this is high quality stuff. Okay, we talked about this earlier. As far as DK clips go, I feel like double dips are like nothing too crazy, unless you did something extraordinary. That clip sucked. It wasn't anything crazy, it was pretty short. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna note something here. So look at the blue line, right? Out the eye, 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 uh huh, out the eye. No SDI, one the eye on you, FD Meta Knight, you're cringe for that. You get deducted points. Yeah, that sucked. That was like a three out of 10, maybe two. These clips are garbage. I've seen one decent clip. This one's got like no pit. This one's terrible. Hella laggy. I like the down B there for no reason. I'm into the smash meter being on. And I'm... This dude edited it himself. That was trash. What is going on? Oh, ZSS clip. Nice. Nice. What'd you guys think? Out of 10. It's not Shiro from... Tra Wait, that dude's in my chat. TikTok out of 10. <laughs> that was kind of trash. I'm glad you guys have decent taste. What the f just happened? That's a 10 out of 10. This dude's an idiot. This dude is actually trash. Both of them are garbage. The persona. He could have like countered it too. Nice. In case I didn't know that was a zero to death, he put it in 
That sucked. One little spike does not immediately make something a clip. You casuals love your spikes and you think it's a hot clip as soon as you hit down air or down B and you're like, oh my God. A oh, hot Belmont clip. That's why, because everyone knows, even if you're not that good at the game, if you just get really lucky as hero, you can. Oh, oh my god! What the fuck am I watching? What is going on? I hit an up smash with Ricky. I win. Can you play it back? I looked away. All right, there's voice acting too for you. Everyone... Buffered air dodge in for no reason. Buffered air dodge That's in for why, no reason. Tried to side B point knows. blank. Holding in like a chimpus with this. Not tacking really onto the platform. Hero, you can... oh, just getting toasted. Oh my god! Actual 3 million GSP gameplay. See a little bit of air. Oh! Oh! I'll give it up. I like that. I like that one. That was kind of hot. The the needles to Ford Smash, I'm down for that. Joke fish. To... Watch it be a back door clip. That actually could have killed. Chase, this shit could be a. Oh, I'm down with that. Why is Cola getting hit by Nair Nair? Flip kick, he's holding in! What the and then he held like, what the f is Cola doing? This is why he get, ah, oh, he's so bad against the assassin. I love it, because it's the only reason I beat him. Goofy ass, yeah, I truly. Oh, this is my clip. This is literally Mars underscore any. This is a hot clip. I don't even need to see it. This is also Smash 4. You guys remember when I used to do item combos? Look at this. Zero out of ten, you haven't even seen it yet! Is that all? This is my first ever item combo, by the way. First ever item combo. You showed me this in your basement, and it was hot, dude. Oh! Ooh! Hey! Hey! Ooh! Oh, <laughs> This dude thought he was cooking. This dude, this dude actually thought he was cooking, and he got farmed. My god. That was awesome, I love that. Oh, rewarded for parrying never? This Mewtwo's a masher? I, what in the world? Douche! <laughs> he took advantage of a weird situation, so I'll give it up. He's a masher, though. <laughs> Holy sh! He tried to footstool and he missed the footstool. That was awesome. Oh no, he didn't. I thought he missed the footstool. I thought he missed it, but I don't care about nest combos. I really don't. Oh, it's another one of my sick item combos. I can't believe he actually found these because I don't even know where to find these anymore. This one's a hot one. This one's a hot combo. Better than the previous one. Ben, this was against Bayonetta. It was all personal. <laughs> Does that go hard or what? What do you mean S6 out of 10? Shut the f up. I think a large majority of those clips were hot Some of them were pretty funny. We had a couple of actually spicy ones. I'm doing something a little new. It's a new content idea that I want to do. It's a little bit of a triple dip for me, and it's uh, it's good for you guys. It's nothing too crazy, but I'm going to be working with Metafly. And now don't pop off yet. Don't think it's, oh, I finally get to get coaching for Mars, because that's not exactly what it is. But basically what this is going to be now, you are going to submit a VOD. I'm going to watch that VOD on Twitch as a family. We're all going to watch it, and we're all going to flame you. It's going to be a combination of dunking on you and also giving you advice, because that's how it works. It's going to be a a little educational while also making you feel like a terrible person now this is great for two reasons for you you get to learn a little something and two you get to be featured in a little youtube video now i don't want to oversaturate too much so i think the way i'm going to do this on the youtube side of things is that i'm going to mesh two of these submissions into one video and if the people who wanted to view the whole thing that isn't like edited or anything you can just watch the whole thing on twitch i do record all of my vods so if it's something you really want for personal keeps you can just ask me, I think on Medify, I do think there's a messaging system. You can get two VODs for the price of one. There's a little bundle there, you can watch yourself. I forgot I actually did that until just now. If you wanna complain that it's expensive, eat shit and die. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna say that. However, I do think it's actually pretty dope because there's a lot of other people who are offering very similar packages. They're giving you coaching and stuff. But you're getting a YouTube video where you get to show your friends. You'd be, hey, look, Mars made fun of my video. Or if you wanted to, you could gift 
me someone else's VOD and I can make fun of your friend. And that could be like a gift or something that you could do at home. But that's the new thing. That's what I'm going to be doing. I hope you guys like my little quote that I came up with. I was pretty proud of that one. You either die team fundies or live long enough to see yourself become a cheeser. That's pretty good. If this goes easy and if I find that I don't dread doing lessons with people and talking to you guys about Smash Bros, I am not opposed to doing actual genuine one-on-one -on -one lessons where I either play you or we watch a VOD together or you just spend $20 and just f***ing dap me up over the internet or something. Can I watch a One Piece movie with you on Metify? Sure, man, if that's what you want to f***ing do, dude. Can we get much higher? So high. So the first person that we have for the Metafight thing who wants to get his VOD reviewed publicly to be shamed, to be made fun of, and to ultimately learn from it is a chatter that we all know and love goes by the name of Wood, Door, and Floor. Haven't seen him in years, what the f***? No, I've definitely seen him before, like pretty recently too. Love is a strong word, this dude's catching strays and we haven't even started the video yet. That is literally insane. It's Captain Falcon versus Sam. It's clearly an Elite Smash match. I think he's the Falcon player, right? He's gotta be the Falcon player. Cause he didn't specify which one he is, uh, which would definitely be helpful for these kind of things. I mean, none of my subs are gonna be playing Samus. Three minute VOD. I told him he could submit another one for free and I don't think he did. So if he did, I'll just go back and do it as a, a second one. Cause I, ideally you want to just submit a set, not just a singular game. Cause you know, a, a single, a single game is not a lot. So send me more I'm gonna get my uh, analysis paralysis brain going here. So I already see that he's starting off with a dash back. Now, if you're gonna play Falcon and you're not going to immediately take advantage of the fact that this is a comfortable distance to be at, you're already up. Ooh, pivot grab was nice. Actually called him out. How are you dropping combo? Oh my god. How are you already dropping combo? It's, we're five seconds into the match. You get your down throw at the juicy, juicy percent and you say, I'll take just a near one. Now he's just flubbing all over. Watch out, Casper. Oh, look at this up here. Ooh, ooh, almost got him. There is no, there is no, you don't have a semblance of positioning. You do not know where to put your character at any given moment. You are just moving. You don't understand what hitboxes Samus can throw it at you. You are literally just moving. No intention in your game plan, except for down air and your combo starters. This is clearly a YouTube made. This is clearly a Falcon player. Look at, what was that? This is clearly a Falcon that was born on like YouTube shorts. Look at this. Who is he side being? I'm nasty! I recovered! I used the bomb! Terrible recognition. You gotta know, you can't punish that with forward smash, bro. I hope you're in the call. I, I, I wish you were here so I could make fun of you. How do you recover? I don't agree with going high, but it worked out. Okay, surely this... Dude, you've gotten two down throws and zero combos. Have you comboed him yet? Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God. Uh, wow, woo! Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Down throw in air. Woo! Down throw in air. Down throw in air. So, so this, I, I call, this is something I would call an involuntary attack where you just up tilt here because you don't know what else to do. You just want to up tilt. You're not thinking at all about what your opponent's doing. There are no active brain cells going on. This was coin box. I, I somehow believe you. Okay. Oh, best combo starter. No combo. Unintentional parry. What? All right. Let me. All right. This is this is a learning process now. So if you want to get a knee off of this, like if you want to edge guard him here, what you do is you jump. You aim a soft knee while drifting to the left. So you do a full hop, you forward air to the right, and then you drift and cover this neutral area, this like this this ledge grab area rather. And you get your soft knee into your up air into like maybe an up B. But you just want a raw knee because you're a tw you're a YouTube shorts Captain Falcon. That's what you are, and you're getting forward air. Ooh ooh, hold up. The movement on this Sam is wave dash. You're both playing the wrong game. One of you is playing brawl and the other one's playing melee. Look at this, this is fake neutral. Look at this. This might actually be bracket because these guys are stressed. Look, nair the wrong way, grab the wrong way, up tilt the wrong way, roll away, jump away. Why are you getting down airs? Combo? Dude, wood door and floor. Do you understand how to do combo? Ooh, oh, oh, safe back airs. Ooh. 
A semblance of uh, thinkies? Falcon kick. That's when you see when you start thinking is exactly when you have to stop thinking, and that's what the best Captain Falcon players do. Oh wait, hold up! Y'all remember what I was saying before about juggling low to the ground? Look at this! Look at this! Short hop up air. He's covering options. Up air wouldn't have killed. Neither would have back air, but I would have back aired here instead of up aired. This Samus is cracking me up with these wave dashes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the smartest thing you've done today. Was up smash, down smash. That was awesome. Dude, I really like, like if you just watch the VOD, there is just, also like, that was another opportunity that you had right here to get a crazy combo. You could have done like turn around falling up air into down air. Could have done up air into knee. You could have just done down air into something. Like you see all that lag right there? Nair one down air. That's your chance, brother. There's so much wrong with both of these players. There's just a lot to delve into. Like this Samus player, is, dude, like what is that wave dash accomplishing? Like he has good timing here, right? If he forward airs, if this Samus forward airs from right here, it covers landing on this part of the platform and you won't get punished if Falcon corners himself and you won't get punished if Falcon goes for center stage. So forward air is a delectable option here. And he just does, ooh, wave dash. Now you have more time to react. And you would see if he forward aired, like I said, you would have double jumped and he could have gotten another opportunity to juggle you while you didn't have any resources. Man. And he just whiffed the back air anyway. And, and then dude, they'll do really options like that. And then they'll they'll do run off wave bounce neutral be like, ooh, I got tech. And then not punish the up beyond the stage. Like what is going on YouTube? Also, you could like, is this up smash good? It's okay. I feel like if he nared, you would have traded. You could have shielded an up bead. He was landing with a lot of hitboxes. Shield and up bead is really good. Down air. He's at 22. You're both thinking only about spikes. Dude, this Samus player was off stage thinking only about spikes. I digress, bro. I don't know. I got, I got nothing else I can really say about this. I think if there is one thing that's impressive about this entire game is the fact that no matter what percent either of you were at, your options and decision making did not change. I like that mix up attempt. Even though you realistically probably could have just done dash attack and with bad DI he would have died. That raw falcon kick that got stuff needs a comment. Wait, which falcon kick did I miss? I respect raw falcon kick, I'm not gonna lie. It takes a big man to do a falcon kick like an idiot. Oh, no, that Falcon Kick was high key, like, pretty good. I respect that Falcon Kick. Cause watch. Okay, he was a little too close, actually. I'd say that Falcon Kick was kind of bad. If, like, the Samus was a little farther away, because if the Samus dashes back, she's gonna start charging neutral B, which means that she's gonna get kicked. And if she dashes in and does, like, a jump or something, you get Falcon Kick. I respect that Falcon Kick. Like I said, it takes a big man. Well, there you go. What door up floor? I hope you learned something, man. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, good luck, man, because I don't know if I can help you. I watched this gameplay. Sheesh, $100 well spent. I, I don't know, dude. I wish he's, like I said, like, I feel like he would have got his actual $100 worth if he uh, if he sent in an actual, like, set instead of a VOD, instead of a game, rather. What door and floor? If you do at some point in the future want to just submit a second one, I will do it. You won't have to pay for a second lesson because uh, I want you to feel like you got your money's worth, man. There you go. Thank you for watching. I have no words. This is what you were fishing for. I, I respect you for putting up your shield for a second. There, there, there were some thoughts running in that brain. Not a lot of them, but they, but they were... <laughs> so today, we're going to be looking at more videos that people have sent me through Metify. Oh God, zero suit player this time, oh boy. If you run off Zare, oh, I have immense respect for this guy. He started off with a fast run off Zare. Okay, and then he just does that. He just went like, really bro? Sick for air. Okay. We've entered camp mode already. I don't, I don't hate what I'm seeing so far too much. But I'm like, okay, this, okay, he, this guy has the processing speed of like a, like a, you know, the, what are those, like a Windows 7, because like if you just look at all the time, like, F tilt, like, wait to jump up, and then he lands and he crap, like, he's just like, he's lagging in real life. I'd like to see the green button on this dude's controller and how dented in it is from how hard he's mashing it. No reactions. He's, he's just mashing. 
actually is like he wants off ledge. He immediately just, just buffers down B, doesn't care what the Lucina's doing. Same with the Lucina, also just mashing up to him. This is a peak like 11 million GSP gameplay. Maybe, maybe 11.5. Ooh, wait, he watches VODs. He knows about F tilt down smash, specifically on Sour Spot. So maybe he's reacting a little bit. Okay. How did that forward air miss? Ooh, the scrub down B. You don't ever want to see the scrub down B when your opponent has the eye frame. Oh my goodness, dude! What is going on? Like you're doing, you're doing technical inputs on accident. Cause like, okay. I know you don't intend on any of this. You do the instant double jump up air, but you timed it so poorly that you didn't get a follow up. You have to like space the up air, and then you do this runaway up angled F tilt. That's hard to do. And then he jabs nobody. That's so. Odd. I love these like 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 you know when dogs shake and it's like a mental reset for them. Whenever this dude just jabs randomly, that's his, that's his shake. He's just thrown in random jabs. Oh my goodness, what is this Lucina player doing too? I have no words. This is what you were fishing for. I respect you for putting up your shield for a second. There, there, there were some thoughts running in that brain. Not a lot of them, but they, but they were. <laughs> <laughs> Don't prove me right in the middle of talking here. No. <laughs> what do you, you don't? Oh my god. Okay, okay. 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 Sure. 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 Okay. I take it back. This is like 10 million GSP gameplay because this this Lucina is not it up smash you want to lose no boost kick run up down smash out of the corner no dex dude what's going on youtube what there's so much this sucks this, like that entire last minute was just filled with why i didn't even know that you could combo off of down smash at 22 percent because i would rather hit a nair if you're gonna go for a read you don't go for down smash at that percent because you get up b but whatever and then this lucina is just mashing out it hits none it's, it's like it's roulette options with this guy and then you're trying you're trying you cheese lord look at you look at you no shame in this game plan right here watch this down tilt and you already know what's gonna happen after this down tilt hits it's another flip kick baby let's say i i agree i would believe that this guy is the best player in his friend group because he knows what the shield button is and he's done at most a two-piece combo at this point that's more than most casuals eight million gsp is my guess we're close to it if not exactly that yeah dude your accuracy is awful and i think that you're going to lose this ganon game because you you don't hit your opponents when you swing and this ganon if he mashes he will destroy you Runoff Paralyzer. Stop right there, criminal scum. <sighs> that hurts my heart, man. I thought you were a Zerusu player. Why didn't you run off there? Okay, we camp. I will say I respect this dude because he camps for like two seconds and then he's immediately just like, I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't lose to Ganon. Oh, don't lose to Ganon. This is like a plus 80. Not true combos, missing combos, mashing down here out of whiffing. Oh God, this is just riddled with bad habits. Okay, I like the up air, pivot grab, swag, back throws air, run off up air. Why no forward air? America, explain. Why did we up air? Why did we give him advantage state? Okay, you were kicking at nobody. And a donated stop. That wasn't even true. <laughs> you thought you were so saucy. Look at this. You can see the Ganon start a move. Ganon, show me Nair. <laughs> you could have just like done up air boost kick or I guess for like, I don't even think boost kick raw would have killed there. So you know, good recognition from you, bro. Mashing up smash at low percent, not looking at your opponent. We don't hit confirm in this house, except for right there. Also, shout out to Zero Suit. Oh, second back air. Now he air dodges. This Ganon, 
dude. This get we need to get this Ganon on my stream because if he's donating this much to a to a bad player, imagine how much he would donate to a good streamer. He he was spared his life at 104. percent This is this is living way too long for Zero Suit, especially if you're Ganondorf. And he says, "Yeah, I'm gonna whiff this down smash." And oh oh this I'm gonna spot that. Oh this Nair. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna DI that to the right. Get it then. Oh wait, there is still a lot more game to go. Oh no, this is gonna go bad. Oh, this is gonna go real bad. This is awesome. Boom! Stop jabbing. Just put your shield up. What are you so scared of? Putting up your shield does not make you a coward. Th this is this is how you know this is autopilot gameplay because you grabbed him at zero percent and you pummeled twice. What's your recovery? There from ledge, respectable. And then the jab one shake. <laughs> what what is jab one down tilt? Dude, do you play Rivals of Ether? These are such like like Brawlhalla like Rivals of Ether like combos, or like 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 neutral. You know what I mean? Whoa! I don't I don't have to say anything about that. Raw Perry. Oh! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me talk, let me, like, okay, Th this is something I see with like low level players often. You get hit with like a little bit of like, I call it like analysis paralysis. You're trying to think in the middle of the game and you're like, okay, I got forward smashed here. So you, you have, at this point, you have mentally and emotionally accepted that you would get forward smashed. So you should be holding right so that, I don't know, if this was like 10% higher, your autopilot would let you live. You didn't hold a button. You just stood there. You thought you got forward smash and you didn't even hold to the right. I think, like I said, I think it was a humble case of analysis paralysis and then, yep, boost kick out of shield. This dude, no shame in his game plan. Fishing for boost kick like a chimpus wimpus the entire time. Wins I would not be proud of. These two right here. However, one thing I did like that he was doing is like that up air right there. And I don't know if it was a misinput because of the short hop macro, but this short hop up air, I like that you stay low to the ground when you're when you're juggling. That's really good. You want to keep that habit, but sometimes you got to read air dodges, and you actually need to do combos because whatever the f up smash into like I don't know what you were doing. Up, up smash one up air at thirty percent. It's like no no no. We got to be getting like three more. I don't know what has happened in your life where you decide that down tilt down B is okay. But I just want you to know that, like, the YouTube comments are here for you, man. Because <laughs> that's not normal behavior. Uh, this up gamer is awdude77 submitting a clip of, um, I'm assuming him or a friend, versus Iken. It's going to be hard to dunk on someone for losing to a good player, right? That's where you're wrong. See, good players are really good at also making you look extremely stupid. Oh, AI President Joe Biden. Oh, dude. Already an incredible... Can I pause with the... Okay. Already an incredible start because you don't want to lose to this guy. Losing this matchup, got to be a choice. You mashing smash tags in the corner... That's part of the choice of losing. You're you're somehow down in damage versus Ryu. Uh, right now, roll from the quarter, no thoughts behind that roll. Absolutely not. Ooh, and you got lucky. You got lucky. In this matchup, but I I'm seeing zero timing mix-up from any of your options. You are just immediately now, picking God, the fastest option you can every single time. Though you mix up what yep, option, you're doing the same it's timing. It's gonna be a matter of time of just and kind of also apparently swinging the wrong way. Why is that so common with you scrub players? Ooh, little schmix, little schmix up. See what I mean? Do you want out of the corner every single time immediately? You are scared of the scrap. As a min min player, that makes sense. But you should be ashamed as a human being. Joe Biden can kind of just play his game. Yep, there it is. Getting get short, you okay? I can eat. You should not be getting jabbed by Ryu. Like that said, is a you. Are, you are made of walking oh, disjoints that you can jump around on, and you're getting hit by grounded yep, options by Ryu. He might be and see what I'm talking about? This is that. This is that panic gonna fear gonna of the scrap thing. Hold on. Catches it the never jumps out he the corner. Oh no! Wait, there's no Why is this commentator yelling? Oh no! Hold on. This is Joe Biden's chance to actually come back in this game. Focusing at ledge, looking a little scary. Hold on, give it a second. Oh, but see what I'm talking about? That you should not be getting jabbed. Will he get jabbed more? <laughs> Has he no concept of zoning as a min min player? Ooh, know, oh, like, ooh, listen, jumping over. Look at this. Teams, they have their different tags for a reason. They want to be called by their I don't get it. See, he like you like you're, you're like randomly slowing down. I'm not getting it. You'll like, you'll be mashing down tilt out of the corner, roll out of the corner, like doing good timings on like ledge traps, and then just like randomly, you're just like, I'm gonna stand here. 
I, I could tell by the way this guy plays. He's never played a cool character in his life. Look at this. Shameless. Shameless behavior right here. Les trapping from like all the way over here. No chance of a reversal. Zero chance. Mashed. Jabbed. Killed. I'm seeing a trend. Oh wow. Wait, hold up. Iken might be nasty. Oh hold up. Wait, Iken's. Uh, this is now an Iken VOD review. Holy. <laughs> Alright, well, you should have died for that, but. He's a nice guy. Oh, and then you, you panic dash tacked out of the corner. So you're donating. You're donating all your stocks, guy. Which one submitted this? The Minmin player. The one who's the one who died for dash attacking out of the corner and then less than 10 seconds later, guess what he does? I, wa I want him to lose for dash attacking out of the corner. I, I really want that. You also had, oh, no way I was right. He did dash, he did try to dash tag out the corner. I'm not seeing the vision. He's seeing something I don't. And it's the lose screen. Ooh, baby. All right, so I'm, I'm surprised you asked for a VOD review because I think just by watching this on your own, just look at where you got hit and just be like, I shouldn't do what made me get hit, which was, did you ask for advice? I, I hope you asked for advice from Iken because I feel like he could have told you those things. It's like, dude, you kept doing the things that got you punished. You just gotta take a deep breath, dude. You gotta remember that you, in every situation, have the advantage versus Ryu. Young Min Min player, aw dude, if you uh, had questions. I can help you more directly if you ask me specific things. However, that was awful, dude. What were you What were you cooking? Because it wasn't much. People like losing at this level is because they just don't think about their options and they just throw f out. There is no processing. There is just like, all right, this is a good option. I'm throwing it out. Pro made Mars watch Min Min gameplay. You know, he's trying to win. He's playing Min Min. I respect that. Chop chop everyone pay attention. It is time for the Metafy segment of the stream. I make fun of you, the viewer. I look at the stupid things that you do and I make fun of you. Today we have Jojo McJoe. Kind of a goaded name, but we're also going to be reviewing one other clip from a ZSS player today. Do you know me? I know a thing or two about Zero C. It might be a little loud. Oh my god, it's recorded on a potato. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is awesome. Why did you jump off the stage already? There is no one next to you. You what? He's just gonna charge charge shot. You just you could have even gone to the platform. That's like way more safe. This dude's already jump camping. Oh dear! I will never invite this guy to a party of mine. I wonder what he wants to do. There it is. Yep, he's got one game plan. It's throw that goddamn Galaga. Let me guess. Oh, he's scrapping. I thought he was gonna run back and get another one. Dear God, what is this? He plays neutral like a Fox player. He jumps at you and then he double jumps. This is Fox player energy. You're playing Pac-Man. What are you doing? Jeez, get your priorities straight. It truly is. Dude, you should play Fox. Oh, wait, he's got tricks. He's got tricks. Ooh, ooh, aw. <laughs> this, this, is, this is Meatball Parade segment. This is what the, like... How did that grab whiff? Back. Back throw, <laughs> dude. It makes no sense because you even charged. You you continued to charge your fruit. So if you wanted fruit, you should have threw him off stage. Haha, -ha. you got punished for playing Pac-Man. See you mash down. We had a hit stun. Did you what kind of monkey brain do you have to have to f tilt this? Like I know you're intangible right now, but that f tilt should not have worked. Ooh, Gimp? Gimps? Gimps? This dude is SD. This Santa's player is a bot. Alright, so for someone who fishes for Galaga a lot, you sure don't know how to combo with it. I gotta start doing that. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so confidently wrong with all of your options. Like, because you do you do this a lot. This is not good. This is, this is just factually a bad maneuver. And then you did this, which just doesn't work. And you got punished. Oh, what happened to the side B, man? You were cooking with that one. Ooh, Fort Smash. Ooh, I'm nasty. Ooh, I'm godlike. Better send this to Mars. What the heck? Not only is he 
attacking Casper the Ghost. Actually, no, he's not attacking Casper the Ghost. He summons him for his attack. Casper, attack! Uh-oh. How will he recover? Normally, because the Samus has Play-Doh brain. Wow. Wow. What did I just witness? That was like, that was, that was disrespectful to the game that I play and love. Yeah, he was gaming. You gotta give it up. Even if he wasn't really accomplishing a single goddamn thing with all of his options. If I had one word of advice for that Pac-Man player, Fox, Mishima. If he wants to play neutral with double jumps like that, maybe he's a scrapper at heart, dude. He was pressing the A button a lot for a Pac-Man player. I'll give it up. So the Zero Suit player here, Pronto. Roast away, my friend. Also, I will take any and all advice you've got. I'm trying to become a top player one day. Well, Pronto, no, you're not. Do you see who you're maining? See you in the next Smash game, buddy, because your chances are grim. <laughs> They're already laughing at him? Oh, no. Ooh, spot dodge up tilt spot dodge. It's looking like loser's bracket, that's for sure. Oh, look, it's loser semis. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not seeing anything terribly wrong right now. Okay. Okay, I've changed my mind immediately. F***ing back throw flip kick. And loser semis. And it hit. Okay, this I should be making fun of this cloud player. Because holy f***, he is not looking at you at all. He does not give a f*** about what you do. Okay, you have no ground game. I see zero F tilts. What, what the f*** is this cloud player doing? What is this? Like, he SD'd for doing that. That Like, like he didn't need to do that. This dude's a bot. This dude's a fool. Up smash. Okay. Up air. Oh. This dude doesn't know how to do combos. Oh, hot parry. No punish. Smash all to me, baby. That's not even your fault. I wouldn't be too upset about getting hit by Lemon Neutral B, to be honest. Where are you? Okay. What are you? Whoa, buddy. That, you're accomplishing nothing, doing so much. In fact, I think you're wasting iframes. And in fact, you should have been gimped. No down B, I'm out there. Right here. No no double jump. Wait, how'd you get your jump back? That made no sense. Is there something that I'm not seeing here? Look. Double jump, Zare, down B, doesn't hit the floor, gets back air, jumps? Am I f stupid? If your down B is low enough, do you get your jump back? Wait, did I just f learn that? Did I just learn something from Pronto? Shield bounce? You don't get your jump back when you shield bounce. But he was really low to the ground. That was really weird. You're camping? Holy sh you're committed. You're act- you were camping camping, holy. You had like a couple of situations you could have turned around into some up air strings. Namely, uh, when we were here. You just do drop down up air here. You don't jump away. If he mashes, he gets up air. Oh, he's mixing. Zare, fool! Zare, fool! What are you doing? If he wants to stay cornered, he can get Zare. Woo! Of course, he's gonna dash tag your landing. Why wouldn't he? Cheeky down B. Who, who would have known he was going to do the 80th back air at the ledge? Not that I'm assuming anything. Hot dash tag. No pickup. This dude does not tech things on the platform. We go for immediate up airs in this house. You're not doing anything terribly wrong, but you're also not applying enough pressure. It's hard to make fun of you when you just, just don't know what you're doing, you know? You got to stand out in some way. Okay, you're mashing down bad. It's not, who? What's the vision? Explain. Is it down air? Oh my god, this cloud player mash is so hard and you are not zaring at all. This is tilting me. That's how I feel. That's how, if you want to just you want to just become a stage hazard, I'm just going to zare you. That's how I play. Back throw? Thank you. I didn't want you to be the Pac-Man player who just throws him back to stage. Forward throw? Oh. Top 10 zero suit sucks moments. Stop doing that. You should have died for that. I would have. I would have taken you down to hell with me right here. This up B spells your doom. You you lose. Oh, 
Okay, back air. You don't even know how to do up smash back air. And you submitted a VOD to me saying you want to be the best player in the world and you up air! No! This is so punishable! Ooh, bad DI. This is some actual advice for me. So cloud players like to do this a lot. There's a lot of other players or like characters of players that do this too. But it's something I like to call just area denial gameplay. It's exactly what it sounds like. So that cloud player wasn't really doing anything. He wasn't reading you. He wasn't like counterplaying Zero Suit really at all. He was just throwing out hitboxes wherever he could that you might be. It didn't matter if you were there or not because he's cloud. He's got low end lag and he can do whatever he wants. He's just using his good moves. Like, this is one of those players that I would just stare at him. I would just stand there or walk slowly backwards and just watch him mash back air and up tilt and, like, any other random move and be like, are you having fun over there? CSS is worse, Claude is worse, you lost in Smash 4, nothing changes. There you go, perfect. Ooh, hot bear. Ooh, no text still. This guy cannot tech. You want to up smash there? Look at this. I expect you to up smash here. If you up smash, it beats down air, and if he air dodges, you have enough time to punish who are you grabbing? You oh know, my goodness, look at these simple mistakes. You are donating damage again. The Zares, they win. Look, I was right. I love being right. Okay, no jump. Surely you kill him, or at least burn limit. Okay, that's good. I'll, I'll count that as a W. Who is he up being? Oh my god, this guy needs to submit a VOD. Oh, are you throwing? You know what you did wrong. I don't have to say anything. I feel like you've gone for the- Ah! Ah! Okay. <sighs> you play so slow. You play zero, so you play so slow. Ah, see what I said? Mashing, dash, tag, and up smash. How did you get back here by Cloud here? What happened? I looked away. They need to put this and talk. Were you trying to do wave bounce side B? You were trying to do wave bounce. Stop! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Just go to ledge. Go low. Use your zero. Use your tether. Get the ledge. You're safe. We were talking about tiny. Okay, so Dude, I know that I've done something similar to this before, but I usually win when I do this, but normal get up, back roll. I feel like if you spot dodge, you actually probably got back here. And then you run off stage. We were talking air dodge about back. That was a reaction a air dodge. I'll give it up. They aged her up in one of the games. I like the way you played that. After the down tilt, you waited for something to do. I still feel like even if he air dodged, you wouldn't have punished. Okay, you are... You, were, you just... You were trying... You, you do this a lot, and it's useless. Run off, B reverse paralyzer. I know that's what you wanted to do there. Stop doing that. It's not gonna work. He's doing jump ins all the time. Also, that didn't deserve to hit. Cloud is f broken. She. I gave a lot of actual advice that said, you know, when I see Zero Suit sweating that bad and getting folded, it hurts my heart. We're gonna be doing more Metify watching stuff today right the people who have submitted their videos we're gonna roast them we've got a lot today so we're gonna get right into it the first guy jojo Pikachu. so he submitted one pac-man vod or like i think it was just like one match we wanted one more from him because he's earned it and his pac-man is hilarious so we're gonna watch that first and then we're gonna watch the two other guys so now if i remember correctly this dude loved side b oh, go. oh i'm glad it, we we keep consistent with the like the the potato quality stuff Okay, and he, he started like this again. Once more, not what you want to do. Just drop the hydrant. And, you know, that'll be your ledge. You put yourself in disadvantage. What's this Roy going to do? Completely give it up and let you jump over him. Oh, this is awesome. I can, like, kind of barely tell what's going on. This Roy needs to mash way harder. What's going on? Side B. No punish! You think you're so nasty. Look at look at the Pac-Man on the left side. Ooh, 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 ooh. You think you're so good at this game. Why down smash? What are you covering? You're just doing options. You guys play this game and you just don't look at your opponents. Look, what is that? What is that? It no what are you doing? Oh, that's like an insult. Watch this. Grab. Grab. Side B, grab. Like, dude. This is a Metafy lesson? Something like that. I mean, I wouldn't call it a lesson. This is a beratement. This is, this is, dude, how, how, what are you doing? What? You, you don't have to cover every landing with grab. You just don't. I don't think you understand what you're supposed to use F-Tilt for. Nice aim. So why did he up smash? 
I'm more concerned for the Roy player here, right? Because let's be honest, nobody knows if this side B is going to hit, right? It could have a ridiculously large hitbox. It could just keep going. It could end before he gets over the ledge. And Roy says, yeah, I'm gonna have to smash that. Like neither of you knew how this was gonna play out. Ooh, mix, hold. What's the move? I thought that was extremely predictable. However, Roy player who doesn't know how to tie his shoes thinks otherwise. Why are you expecting Pac-Man to think? Dude, because everyone on on Twitch just so like they just think that Pac-Man is like the top ten most complicated characters. Look at all the things you have to think about. Watch this. He threw him off stage. He dropped the hydrant. He mashed the A button and accidentally hit him and the hydrant. And this Roy did the same exact like landing arc like eight times in a row. And it finally got punished, dude. Whoa, that's crazy. Just just go up in the air and hit him. If you want to mash buttons so hard, Pac-Man main, JoJo, just, just get up there and like back air him. It's an active hitbox. It's large. Just do better, dude. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> next person. So the next person we're going to be looking at is right here. It is Stress NY. Yeah, this is a set. It's Stress. He plays the good Zero Suit Color, or one of them. He didn't run off there. That's an immediate flaw in your gameplay. You need to turn your brain off a little harder. All right, this matchup's hard. I don't expect you, you know, to get too crazy with it. Why are we jabbing? There's too many jabs already. This guy's clearly jumping at you all the time. Where are, you ju where, where are your anti-ears? Now the next item we have is a subscribe button and that's why we were running a masher special. Subscribe now and get all of the Mars content that you want for free. Buy up now, we have a limited stock. Not subscribing? Kinda cringe. <laughs> I respect the read attempt. I respect the man who gets greedy for no reason when you had a guaranteed combo. Okay, how do we feel about Arsene? What are we doing? We're playing it safe. We got a lot of Zares coming out, shooting the Paralyzer, fading back. I'm liking this so far, dude. I don't see a lot of room for critique. What was that? I guess you didn't get punished, but you didn't really do too much either. Ooh, bad DI on the Joker's part. You should have lived. You're not giving me much to make fun of, dude. You submitted a lot of you looking good. Okay, that side B was scrubby. Just go, just go to ledge. Oh, is he ledge? Is, is he anti-ledge? Is he one of those players? I'm watching you just kind of like mindlessly zare your way out of the corner every time. And you just, you always jump. You're not really, you're not really doing too much. Think, you're, th like there, there's no, there's no, like you're, you're jumping subconsciously. You're not thinking about when you jump. You're just kind of always in a state of like, I have to be in the air at all times, which good players will catch on to that and we'll just anti-air you all game. There will be no falling aerials because you will just simply get swatted out of the sky before you even get a chance to throw an aerial out. Like, if this Joker just started doing full hop nair towards you, <clears throat> he'll start winning. Hey, playing at kill percent versus Joker just sucks because he can he can just mash back air. This would be a good time to do grounded side B. Real talk. CSS sucks, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. This is, now, this is ugly. Now, this, this entire five-second sequence is hopium. Please hit. Oh, please hit. Oh, my God, I'm mashing. But you don't know how to play grounded. You have absolutely no ground control. The only thing you do on the ground is jab. And you kind of just throw it out. It doesn't really feel like you're like trying to hit him with it. Stop picking options so fast. You're playing at his pace. And the best thing you can do against players who mash like this is to just slow the pace down because it's not something they're comfortable with. And they will make, they will make mistakes if they keep running at you. Ooh, I would have done down B. I would have, if this was me, I would have uh, kept holding left, like all the way over here, and then down B to the right and caught, caught his jump when he goes low. And if he doesn't go low, I can just swing on him after the down B. I, do you lose this? I don't think you lose this, dude. You should have submitted a VOD where you lose. You guys are both just like in a constant state of trying to call each other out. And there is little to no solid gameplay going on here. And again, side B out of disadvantage is just not a thing you got to stop doing that just slow down dude what? what what was the read what what's the vision here i'm not seeing it like you want him to run off of the platform and back air and then you pivot grab him even though back air has like there's so much startup on your pivot grab 
And if he did do what you expected him to do, he could have just spot dodged or rolled through you and then killed you. He still got punished anyway, you know, there are consequences for that. Water, okay. We're getting a little desperate here. We're doing side B out of disadvantage again. What are you doing? You have some of the best movement. You're zero suit. You have some of the best movement in the game. And you're giving up air dodges like this? What the heck? <clears throat> Look, this is this is movement without intention. You're just dashing all the way back and then dashing back in, going for like a call out. Just stand still, dude. If you don't know what to do, just stand still and watch your opponent be an idiot. Maybe shield if he gets close. I'll be honest, I don't even think that your opponent's doing anything different. I think that you're just doing wrong shit. Like, you've stopped zaring. Ooh, well, I don't think I need to tell you what happened there. I think, uh, I think it was very obvious when you pre-fired forward smash. Forward smash, by the way, after down smash. Okay, so I actually, uh, I actually covered what I'm about to talk about right here. So, uh... I made a YouTube video earlier that was like top five mistakes that you were making as a scrub and uh, it's over committing to juggles. Usually that implies full hopping and doing aerials and stuff. But like right here, for example, like he's doing a full hop up air when if he did a short hop up air instead, he could F tilt this landing air dodge because there's lag here, you know? Because he did a full hop, he's completely lost the juggle and now he's in disadvantage. I don't think this ESS is bad either. He's just making some key mistakes. I want to. I want to see what you see, man. Ooh, ooh, combos! Give me the combos. That's good. <clears throat> Whoo! What the heck? Let's see, the other zairs are coming out. Ooh, call out. You know? Okay. Okay. Going for call outs again, and then and then you got too fancy with it. Stop that! What are you doing? I didn't realize there was like no audio whatsoever. Hey, that's the Mars Gambit, baby. Hex Girl, thank you for the 20 bucks. Listen, fast and mobile characters like this, you really just can't get away with shooting paralyzers and side Bs in neutral. You just can't. You have to play the scrap game. You have to play the movement game. Throw out your Zairs. Do your little safe on block strings. You can, you know, you could go for like a couple jump call outs when you're confident with them, but like you're going for them in situations that just aren't good. Yep, see? Yep, we camped this. Get them out of here. Get this brain dead Joker gameplay out of here. Why are you grabbing? He has our sin! Stop grabbing! That one made way less sense. The second grab here. Like, do you expect him to like air dodge down? Or like, even if he forward aired, I think it would have hit you. We gotta stop trying to grab these landings, dude. I, I don't know. I can't like, it, it feels like it's against your like, Whatever radar blip is going off in your brain where it's like, opponent might be landing here, must grab. <laughs> it's so ingrained in your mind. Like, that's true for most cases, but like, Joker's too mobile and your timings are not great. God. So he, he started off by playing really fast and you were able to match his pace, but now that he's slowed it down, you have not slowed it down. It's too risky to grab here. He's like going for like, Forward air ones and back airs the entire time you're at kill percent. The entire time you're at kill percent, he's doing forward air ones and back airs. Uh, I mean, I think I got all of my grievances out while I was watching that shit, man. The next game where we are going to be reviewing is Sammy G. Now, I do believe that we're actually watching a K Rule Gamer, a glue huffing champ. And just by the thumbnail, he's getting folded by the Zeus who Samus. How exciting! <laughs> Oh, oh, this is edited? How exciting. I was TOing my first monthly, so I was more focused on having everything run well. So we have Johns, cool. Then had to fight the second seed, Silver, Melon, King Chris, Lights. It's, oh, oh God, you're playing King Chris. Oh God. This dude is can't be. You made this a possibility by seeding yourself into him. I had already made it out of pools, so went into this set just trying to put on a show for the venue. Then this happened. He did down throw. That's the entire joke. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Ooh. I like watching Campy Zero Suit lose, so let's get it. Clap! 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 Clap your hands! Oh, baby! What an edge guard! You sure this isn't for King Chris? Let's see it. Let's see. What are you doing? Okay, the unsafest of Ford Airs. Hello. What in the edge guard f was that, Chris? What the? Ooh. 
What the hell? This looks like Elite Smash. Oh, outplayed. Cle clearly high, high IQ, very intentional side B here from K. Roll, knowing that he would back air here. He goes for the armor on the side B and then gets grabbed immediately after and drops the crown off the stage. What? Is okay. I gotta see what the vision is with that edge guard. Ooh! <laughs> Dude, as soon as I saw that the the cannonball got shot, I, I know exactly what's about to happen. It's either fourth throw or dash attack. He, this dude is flirting with SDs all the time. Melon. Tough luck. Oh my god, it's been like a minute and there's four stocks gone. Hey, Sammy G. What's up, man? Use your prime gaming. You won't get any more uh, any more ads. Oh, I see your ass mashing there. Oh, you're still mashing it. <laughs> Dude, the down air, no! Oh, okay, now I see the vision with the, the down B there. That shit barely hit. That shit didn't even look like it was supposed to hit. Nah, dude, it's not your fault. You played perfectly, bro. Better player lost. Better player lost here, for sure. In a truly just world, this K rule player got the back air earlier in the stock and won. All right, let's see it. How do we start? Crawling? What the f***? What are you trying to low profile? He's not trying to low profile anything. He doesn't respect you, Sammy. You gonna take that? Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> My fault. Sorry, Sammy G. I wasn't familiar with your game. No one disrespects Sammy motherfucking G. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. What was Melon doing? He said, "Yeah." <laughs> What was he doing? Like, okay, th this is unfortunate. This just happens sometimes. You just jump away here. Wh when K. Roll hits you with like crown back air horse sh malarkey, you just disengage. You mash air dodge. You you jump. You make it as difficult as possible for him to finish this clip. Because if he finishes this clip, I end up reviewing it on my channel. But you got forward smash. Why did you even forward smash? That's like the worst thing to pick there. <laughs> Whatever. I I'm impressed. Up to. Ooh, don't get hit by it again. Ooh, you wanted him to get hit by it. I know you. Did. What is that? You suck. What the? Jump cannonball by Magnum Opus. Bink. <laughs> Most goaded trade. Okay. Dude, he goes to ledge. Holy shit. Sammy G's got fundies. He knows to go to ledge there. Uh oh. Not my goat. Come on, Sam. You gotta win this game. Come on, Sam, you gotta win this game. What the? Wrong way, bud. Don't ever land on Sammy G's crown. Oh, don't ever land on his cannonball. And most importantly... <laughs> dude, he is respecting the f*** out of you now, dude. After that first time, you're like a whole new player to him. Like that, except a little better. Oosh! Chillin'. Look at him, vibing. Then he goes my fave my in the game. That wasn't Ascendant Sammy. All time fave. Oh, baby. He's begging to get gimmed. Let's see, oh, forward throw. You don't understand the mission. You can parry? Tio's can't parry. I'm consistently impressed. Bad trade, bad trade. Oh, go to trade, go to trade, go to trade. <laughs> this should not have trade. <laughs> I'm a different T.O. Umbeki vibes. <laughs> what just happened? I looked away as I was reading that and you fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a different T.O. all right. Nah, dude. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, dude. Look at him, dude. He's playing. He's a little fundies. Fundies. Land on me, son. So oh, you want to you wanna choose jump get up? Okay. You want to jump off the platform? Okay. React. And then the world's choppiest dash dance. Uh-oh. Oh, you're- Oh! <laughs> I was gonna say, you're getting better character right now. We gotta wash those crowns. He's adapted. Oh, cucked. Thoroughly sucked, efficiently cucked. What's better than that? Well, now that, now that Cloud's winning, live homie reaction. Okay, no, <laughs> what the f*** is going on? Hold on a second. What? 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 I was just falling asleep because Cloud was winning. Still the fear. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're cheering you on. Ooh, it's good to have homies cheering you on when you're playing a minus three. 
I know you just said Don't it's a plus 0 0.5, but you're capping. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Bing. Oh, is that a win-win? Not, not the second seat losing to the TL of the tournament, bro. I'd never come back. I'd never show my face again. Okay, this I get shit on. High key. Let's see it. Let's see it. Don't let it be you, dude. Don't get back aired. Ooh, it's never really your choice, is it? I gotta go, but I appreciate you guys will watch. Bot. Damn. All right. Well, it was, it was fun having you around while I was watching that one, man. Ooh, no. He, yeah, good thing he left, so he didn't have to see that happen to him. Are you leaving? You paid for this. It'll be on YouTube the whole thing. A lot of jokers. Sure. Yeah. Up here. Why wouldn't you trade there? Yeah. Why would you go for that? Pretty sure doing drop down up here just puts you back on the platform anyway. You shooting him in the back of the head. You shooting him in the back of the head. This dude's got no text. What happened to Team Fundies, dude? I'm going to send this That'd be great. Why did he go here? I don't know, dude. I mean, regardless of what stage you go to, you're definitely just going to get destroyed. Oh, not spot on. Down smash. Oh, man. I thought... I, I gave you the Team Fundies badge, and now you're doing spot dodge down smash? Holy. No. You were reacting earlier, man. No. See, you got no accuracy. I want to cheer for you, dude, but you're getting toasted. What's going on? Yeah, no patience either. As soon as, as soon as something hits his shield, he's out of there. Match that forwarder out. He's brought this back. Was that the worst ledge lead. trap Very ever nice. into a landing air dodge? <laughs> More likely than you now, think. Can you stay alive? We're gonna see a zero to seventy at least. Oh, never mind. God, you you just swing on everything. It's hilarious. Like there is no defensive options ever. Like, but, uh, realistically. But then you read that one air dodge. You you became like a good player for like two seconds, and then yes. now you're playing against this There's Joker, and it's all. Unless it's get me the f out of here, here at all moments. I want out of the corner. I'm forward airing. I'm throwing crowns. Oh, you got to do nair first. Oh, he oh beefy. He knows. He knows. This is still doable. Yo, you are such a cheaser. <laughs> Yo, I might. From one game to the next, dude, I think I revoked your uh, your funny pass. Oh, he texts those. No nair? Is this November? No nair November? No. You're selling. This Joker is selling. From under. That'd be much better. Oh my god. Dude, stop. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Stop. You don't have to. Oh my god. You don't have to kill everyone at 40%, dude. <laughs> you just mass taunt until you got punished. Oh god. You play like a TO. I'll say that. You know? Right now, he can into play here. He keeps doing jump get him, huh? You're supposed to adapt. What happened? Uh oh. Edge guard him? Edge guard's free? Oh. Yeah. What are you doing, man? Nice He's got the IQ of a croissant. Look at you. Down throw up smash. Not even working. Ooh. Good recovery. Nice play. Dude, like, you just know how to recover. That's, like, your thing. You play cheesy as heck, and then you just know how to recover pretty well. I I want to live in this region where I don't get punished for going off stage as K rule. That, this seems like a desirable region to live in. Chat, would you guys thrive in this region? You can just go off stage as much as you want. If you don't kill at 60 or below, you were playing the game wrong. How did he get this grab? Old unsafe as Nair. The, dude, the duality of being a K rule player is like, you're cool for like maybe 10% of the match. For the entire other part, you're mashing Nair out of disadvantage. Recovering or uh, throwing crown. This is just a flex region, dude. They're all just doing like cool recovery shit, doing like tether cancels, bro, stalling with up air and disadvantages K rule. And I bet everyone else probably plays like Steve and shit. Oh, 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 o
jump. Oh, it was oh. still active as a counter? Oh, okay. okay. I, I thought I thought he was a genius. The VOD, the VOD quality just gets, like, way worse. What the hell is going on? Dude, getting... Dude, ha having this go game five because of that whole counter shenanigan feels terrible. Sick 380p gaming. It's because he didn't want us to see him losing in 4k, man. So greedy. Oh, wow. Oh, goes onto the plat, empty land. He loves down throw up smash, even though he's never hit one in his life. Bing! Imagine ever shielding there, holy. What's going to be the factor here? This dude's camping Arsene better than the Zero Suit player from earlier. Holy. And he's not even playing a real character. No bad counter. This does feel like a Machinima, ha Machinima Halo video. Damn, the whole thing froze. Alright, maybe it is me. Oh, nope. Never me. Just do an MLG edit. Alright, he goes for the suck. No cuck, as it seems. The Eha. Much earlier than normal. Hits! Uh, I, I didn't think it would actually hit. I thought he would go me. under it. I thought I got an ad again. Nah, it okay. just looks like this. And oh, he's looking for the cheese. He's off stage. Oh, that actually almost caught him. Okay. The worst part. Oh, oh my god. To call him going low. No jump reads from Sammy G, and Robert then he gets his jump red to end it. That, G Bro was mashing. Every time you hit this dude with a soft nair, he would immediately jump. If you guys both grab ledge at the same time, he would immediately jump. Dude, that, that first set versus King Chris was fucking lit, dude. You fucked him up. That was awesome. If Sammy G has a million fans and I am one of them. If Sammy G has 10 fans, I am one of them. If Sammy G has only one fan, oh, that is me. If Sammy G has no fans, then that means I am no longer on Earth. If the world is against Sammy G, then I am against the world. It's so, it's so over the top, but I love that copy pasta. Oh, we're making fun of Sephiroth today. You hear that, YouTube? We're making fun of a Sephiroth player today who goes by the tag of Ags, H-E-G-Z, who's playing in Grand Finals against a gamer named Simply Turtles. Shout outs to the homie, the Zivus. The Zivus? Babibus? For submitting to Metify so that I can review and make fun of his VODs and make fun of his friends and then they can all point and laugh at him. Because that, you know, what, what, there's a lot of fun in that. That's what we're going to be doing. Is the link to the Metafy in the description? I feel like it should be if it's not. All right, let's watch a little bit of Sephiroth gaming. I don't even know what his opponent's doing. Losing to Terry. I don't know shit about this matchup. Just kidding, Terry's gonna try and mash his way in. Kill him at like eight. Name of the game, don't die at eight. Oh, we have, oh, it's one of these Sephiroths. The stand in the, stand a fixed distance away from you and pray he reacts to whatever you try to do. This is a perfect way to lose to Terry or any rushdown character as a matter of fact. What, what was, do you, do you want to jump over him and get out of the corner or not? He ran towards him and jumped backwards. Oh, he hasn't even hit him yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a hot start to a grand finals reset. He's getting absolutely folded. Wait, he's a genius. Or simply turtles, a simple 10. Oh, yes. He, if he's going to get counter spammed. No, that was awesome. Honestly, I would just... That was cool. Watch this. The, the cool part about mashy players is that they have no mix. So if you do that counter, like, whenever you're feeling like it, it'll probably work. Just do it in a way you won't get hard punished. Like that. Or you could get forward smash there and die at, like, 10, but but you didn't. So it works. Was stock one just a download? There's two type of stock one players. There's the feeling the other opponent out kind of player, or the I'm going to try and kill you with my cheesiest setup player. I love this. I like that they walk at each other, but just throw out something random regardless. It's kind of edge guard. No accuracy. Get this man in the range. I don't care what anybody says. Hitting. <laughs> nice. Hitting Sephiroth forward air, not hard. Whoever says hitting Sephiroth forward air is hard, incorrect opinion. I like the attempt at a second up air. Oh, he's so tricky the way he. All right, so, so the fact that there's a chance that Ags loses to this guy is crazy because... What was that? You set up for it perfectly. Look at this. Look, you saw the air dodge and you didn't just immediately eliminate him. That's crazy. You are a coward. Oh, now you do it? When... All right. I guess it works out. Oh, okay. 
Mashing there at a disadvantage, whatever works. A button at the bad guy kind of gameplay. He doesn't know how to do combos. I feel like I need to make fun of this Terry player even more because he plays slow as if he's like playing calculated and then he just does random wrong like pretty consistently. This is grand finals too. Definitely a college tournament. Ags reset from losers. Very impressive. Don't know how that happened. I think it'll work. I think it's gotta work. Don't you can't that's a day one. You can't fall for that. You bring you bring shame upon team fundies if you get hit by normal get up, bust a wolf. Like you literally have this platform up here to just like spam back air off of when people do like get ups and stuff. Or play patient to see what they do and you still got destroyed. Wow! That reach! How did that happen? You spot dodge. That's what happened. Wow. <clears throat> you just got cheese. I wouldn't even say he did anything particularly wrong. I don't think the spot dodge was incorrect, but it'd be like that. He does. He is not comfortable in the scrap. Ags wants to be absolutely nowhere near his opponent at any point in time. Love the counters. It's definitely why you won game one. Was all the counters. Look at this. He is chasing you down, and you don't even throw out a single nair to get him off of you. Thank you for not getting hit by it a second time. I saw the neutral get up. I saw the go. I, you know, it's a miracle you didn't get hit by it. I hate this Terry player. Watching this makes me upset. Knowing this guy was in winner sides of grands, and people were letting him just make critical errors like this. Oh, is he playing hot? Right. Right. His, his jab his jab reaches farther than most F tilts, so you lost for that. You were spamming down smash for the most part. Didn't really realize his complete lack of nares. Yeah, he's probably just used to people like respecting his space so he can get away with just like dashing away using nares. He doesn't roll a lot, which is good. You don't normally want to roll against FTC characters because they have aimbot. Honestly, yeah, like if I saw a Sephiroth player playing like this, I would mash on him. I would do all of my plus on block options. I would do all my frame traps. Every time something hits this guy's shield, he's just immediately pressing a button. No patience for someone who likes to play slow and neutral. That doesn't really make any sense, now does it? He learned his neutral through YouTube videos. See, jumping is always a good idea versus the FTC characters. I like that he jumped away there instead of dash. Oh my gosh. Wow! Oh, this Terry hasn't gotten punished once for just chasing him across the stage. Yeah, he could even just throw out a jab. He doesn't necessarily have to nair. I would, just, I would simply counter mash. And then he respects my mash, starts taking it slow, and then I start throwing out shadow flares. Up throw, up till. See? If you, you just play patient enough against this Terry, he will just throw out something very punishable. He'll just throw out random crack shoot. He'll just up B apparently. He's not grabbing when you're at a high percent. Oh, nice. Oosh. Wow. Also very random. Nice tomahawk. Wow. Oh, no jump happening. Hey, you what? He had no jump. You're a coward. Look, I like this. The react on the tomahawk. Awesome, sweet. No jump. That's a low angle F tilt. As soon as I just like, as soon as he's able to act, I'm throwing out an F tilt. Low angle. Would have hit that. Boom. And then you just go out for an edge guard. He starts playing like he's playing a DLC character whenever he gets winged, which is probably correct, but I've seen him lose a couple stocks for that. Wow, he chased him. Why is he tackled? That's gonna kill him. That's just unfortunate. That's just like a setup for Terry. You got down tilted. You press shield on reaction. You died for it. You're you gotta you gotta F tilt these ledges. You can't just let him air dodge a ledge like that. Ooh, interesting. I appreciate the willingness to experiment with options like running up and countering a projectile. She's just air dodging to Terry. Oh no, you got spot dodged because you timed something very poorly. That was an F tilt every day of the week. Not a grab. He shook his head. I feel like he knew that. He really is just running out of and getting away with it. He's just a coward. This is why I call it fake neutral. Like, people are playing fake neutral. Because when they dash back and forth, they see top players do it, or they'll see, like, high-level players do it, just, like, dashing back and forth. But they don't understand, like, the use or why people are doing it when they're actively trying to, like, bait something. Like, 
the low to mid level players are just like doing it and they're like yeah i'll attack now but you're not actually reacting to your like what your opponent's doing that's why you get players like this who will just dash back dash forth their opponent will whiff something and they won't punish and they don't even like position to punish the option afterwards if they don't find themselves like ready to punish i uh, learn that Oh, did you get... Dude, he's been fishing for that all set. Was that Nair Dare? Like, how many times does he have to, like, get countered for doing that? For you to stop countering? Like, why did... Like, I don't know. You stopped countering when you had, like, an 80 to 90% success rate on your counters. He's a masher. Stop giving him respect. He doesn't deserve it. That is a complete and total shame on you. There's something to be learned there, you know? Stop playing fake neutral. Stop dashing back and forth without the intention of actually doing, punishing, or doing anything. And if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why do you stop countering? Can anyone in the chat tell me why you stopped countering? No, you can't. There's no good reason. Ags was a Wi-Fi warrior. It's crazy you say that, because the Terry player plays more like a Wi-Fi warrior. Because I didn't realize you did the two. I'll do the second match right now. All right, so we accidentally watched the reset first, post-reset, now this is like, Ags is still in loser's bracket, or rather, Simply Turtles is still in winner's bracket. I feel like anyone who consistently plays offline does not play Sephiroth. He feels so much better on Wi-Fi, I'm not even kidding. You just get punished so much less, the character feels real. Oh, not the crack shoot from Ledge, he's looking like Riddles out here. Oh no, he's just crack shooting. It doesn't, it's not about being Riddles. It's about choosing the same option 80 times in a row. I'm wondering, like, does he counter more? Like, how does he win this set? Like, what has changed? He's mixing! I like that. Maybe that's why he starts doing neutral get up into Buster Wolf, because you were doing that. Doing timing mix ups at ledge. You know what beats that? Buster Wolf off normal get up. No. Oh, stop doing neutral get up. You could probably do the Sephiroth just re up B to ledge. Hit him with the multi hit. Hangs out way too much at ledge against Terry. Yeah, I mean, I understand cornering yourself against Terry a lot because you do have to respect his base. And like, I would almost say that PS2 is not a wise choice. I'd like, Terry's faster than you, unless you have wings. So, uh, no, nah, actually, no, I, I don't know, PS2 is fine. In fact, that Terry shouldn't be bringing this to PS2. The smaller the stage for him, the better. He kind of just let himself get forwarded. That was cool. I wouldn't say anything really changed. I, I mean, I think that Ags took more risks with like edge guards and overextending. Not even overextending. He just hits side Bs. Like, I feel like Ags does really well once he hits side Bs and once he's hitting like falling up airs. Alright, is he gonna go out? Okay. I have respect the patience and bait attempt. I don't respect that though. Yeah, no. You're Sephiroth. You want stage control. You got a cornered Terry who's panicking that he might lose his stock any second. Just let him panic. See what he does. This guy clearly mashes all the time. Nice patience. Terrible spacing. No kill. Neutral get up. Oh, jump get up. That was good. Will he die at this ledge? Is it impossible to punish Sephiroth on regrab? Yes. Why did you roll get up? Should have died. I don't, he didn't do the charge. He loves down smash with the wing. I'm tell he 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 plays so privileged once he gets wing. It's like you're playing like a, such a better character and you're playing riskier. But like, you could be playing safer instead with that nice movement. I'm waiting until more people realize that Sephiroth down smash is parry on. Re you can parry on reaction. See, just like that. Stop down smashing so much. You don't even think about it, you just throw it out. He doesn't have a low shield or anything. Okay, maybe I should knock on wood too. Oh, what, what, what? That worked? What? Whatever. Alright, there it is. Burned up. Two combo! A chronic down smash addiction. He can't stop himself, man. He sees he's got wing. He sees there's an opponent on the screen, on the floor. Yup! That's what I'm talking about. Um, see, he gets it. You can parry on reaction. Down smash. Shouldn't be breaking your shields. Unless they charge it. That's the only time it's a problem, but they normally don't really charge it. There you go. There's that counter. Oh, I love it. What is this? What is this? 
Wait, run up, grab. Okay, buddy. He didn't get punished. So I guess it's not that bad. But I think people look so dumb when they do that. They're like waiting. They're clearly fishing for something specific and then it just doesn't work out. I also think that's another issue that mid-level players have is that when they have like a good lead, they're like, okay, I can play a little stupid. It's like, no, that's how people make comebacks. Now look at you. You're one, you're one cheesy little sequence. What? You're one nair down here away from having this being even. Yeah, look at you. Look, remember that time? Remember what you did like 12 seconds ago? Where you did like a charged up bean. Now you're at 100, percent and now one jab kills you. Suddenly your defense doesn't look so strong. Okay, well, luckily this guy's a bot. Oh, there it is! For the third time in this matchup, flashbang! How many times does this have to happen to you, Mr. Turtles? How many times? We gotta teach you this lesson, old man. Holy sh! You guys have knights attending your college. What's he learning? What's he studying? Oh, the the skittles. Okay, this pace favors Sephiroth. Up, oh, and then you missed your frame trap. You just mash jab. I don't even understand that down smash. I, I don't even. I couldn't. I don't remember if his shield was low. You can bait this guy to air dodge every time too. Look, he he like. There's so much stuff that he could be punishing and that he's baiting and then he just stops punishing later on. Like you see all those air dodges that like this Terry player does whenever the Sephiroth jumps at him. That could just be a simple full hop, fast fall, like up smash or dash tag, depending on where it is. He's just getting baited every time, never getting punished. So it's important to understand why you choose the options that you pick and not just be like, mm, yes, option good, I will pick it. See what I mean? He picked a good option. Not really good, even in that situation. I think it's a good move. Me pick. Like, you know in Hero Players, they just, like, see the letter K, hoping it's Kaboom, but it's Kamikaze? That's what I do. Uh-oh. Too bad you can't punish Sephiroth re-grabbing a ledge. It's literally impossible. It worked. Yeah, just go back, honestly. I would just go back to ledge. I'm, I'm happy that I'm over here now. Look at this. C counter. You want Terry to stop mashing on your neutral getups? Spam counter. Nice air dodge. He rage quit, dude. Get the out of here! Stand by everything I said. There's nothing really more to add. My man's not thinking enough. Thank you for watching. Thank you for submitting this VOD. So it's time for more Metafy content. You know exactly what that means. We had a poor, poor, poor chapter send me a couple of VODs of himself playing. And uh, this one's a little bit more interesting. It's uh, a little different from the normal VODs that I've got. I'm excited to share this with you guys. So the person that has sent this in is Ridley Kong. Uh, I feel like I've seen that name before. Maybe a fellow's been in my chat before. But uh, if you can tell, it's free-for-alls. And I'm looking at the timer and I'm looking, I don't see no stocks. So there's gonna be a lot to take away from this. Uh, Gonna get right into it. Yeah, free for alls on probably one of the worst free for all stages uh, in the game because this stupid rubbery floor over here, these platforms that go down when you step on them, the rain that like brings all the platforms and stuff down. I like the bull borb on the right. Bull borb on the right is kind of lit. Honestly, that's kind of like weenie. Like, like okay, so like this area is Weenie Hut Junior. This area is like. This is not nah, this is like this is where the big boys play and then the bull borb is the salty spittoon Okay, okay casual metafire. All right, so he has told me Ridley Kong. Who do you think Ridley Kong plays chat? Any guesses you got banjo Ganondorf Toon Link and Bayonetta who does Ridley Kong play? That's right is banjo kazooie look at this dumbass look at him look at this you guys are all wrong Every single person that guessed was just wrong you guys suck Oh, What is this music? Go! Two minutes. Is this gonna... Okay. You are so ugly. Wait, can I scroll? Ah! Oh, we got jab checks and stuff too. Wait, this guy might not be bad. Oh, I'm seeing semblances of camping. You're doing a little bit of thinking and I don't know how I feel about that. He knows to hit the, the candy pop buds. Why is nobody getting oh. that smash ball? Salty Splatoon has showed up. Wait a minute, I thought he was charging that the other direction. <laughs> I, th 
I, I I thought he was charging it to the left, which is why he didn't let go. Boop, 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 boop. Damn, you got one point. You didn't even earn that point. You're boosted. You jumped. You suck. What was that? You suck. You literally jumped into it. You borderline SD. Oh, three for. They did scoring. So you guys remember score mode and uh, melee? This dude grinds casuals. He knows that you can. You killed him at 62. You are any any semblance of team fundies that you have shown have been revoked. Yeah, you're a cheeser. Yeah, you picked up the items first, so you won the game. Congratulations. Oh, salty splatoon. Go play there. Go stand on the pool board. Oh god, that's scary. You didn't even fight him. Oh, dumbass. I. I do respect. Wow. <laughs> Look at this Ganondorf. You gotta know better, man. Like how much time he had to react to not getting hit by this side B and he just gets deleted. I, I'd say genius play on your end. Subscribing to the channel? Pretty, pretty cash money. Not subscribing? Kinda cringe. <laughs> oh, he's getting lit up. Did you just not, did you just take your hands off the controller? Like you start getting shot and you're like, oh, it's over. <laughs> this is hilarious. Bye. Oh, Ganondorf, look at him. Having fun, buddy? All right, okay, he's going for play of the game. Nice. Double kill. Twofer, he's going bolt. Dude, he's got four points, he's farming. You know, sometimes I have people who like submit these VODs. I just want to show off, like, being cracked at the game. What is this Bayonetta doing? Oh, I've never seen Bayonetta Ultimate not go off. That <laughs> you have to try. Like, hold on. Let's do the math here. So here's the way Bayonetta's Smash, oh, like, Final Smash works. So that bar, you see those little circles? Those circles will fill up over time, and every hit that you get will make it go up. See how it's just automatically going up? He hit somebody and it almost filled up. The Bayonetta player is garbage. But somehow only a negative one in third place. Did you just, what are you doing? You wanted to be Mars so bad. You tried. Aha. Damn, you're carried by side B. You're, you're the only character, you're the only guy playing DLC here. You're boosted. Look at the Toon Link. He quit. He's done. <laughs> He's out of there. He was dead. He saved him. Wait, I didn't even notice that he saved, he saved the Ganondorf with this down air. Okay, not this one. Oh, he did. What a hero. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're a casual. You're a casual through and through, but we figured it out. Our Bayo was technically DLC, but not in this game. She got balanced because she was DLC. She wasn't DLC anyway. All right, next one's a 1v1, so we get to see his actual skill. See, this side B spammy sh isn't gonna work anymore. We need to sign this guy up for the guess the GSP thing. I'm guessing 10 million. Ooh, embarrassing. Dude, you're getting kind of toasted. You uploaded this? This you? He didn't even charge it at B. I guess he didn't need to. Bad DI on the dash tag. Okay, not reacting to PK Thunder. Yep, just air dodging right into it. Yep, yep. Okay, we're mixing. You suck. You suck. Ha, scrubs! <laughs> this nest player intentionally crossed you up. You didn't react, and he crossed you up and didn't know that he crossed you up. So, peak gameplay right now. Uh, honestly, I think this nest is accidentally dodging your side Bs. I do not think he knows better. Meatball parade time, it really is. Who are you side being? You're getting teabagged! You uploaded this! <laughs> we gotta we gotta get some anti-airs in here. He's just jumping at you. Where's the shield button at? Where's your your four airs before his four airs come out? Bink bink bop! You're, 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 you know? If you chat, tap in exclamation point banjo for me, and I'm gonna replay this. 10 second time span. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Nightbot. Egg sh loser. That's what Banjo is. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's teabagging it back. W. All right. So the only thing that's changed that is allowing him to win is that he's camping harder and shitting out more eggs. But you know what? That's like one of his only solid moves. So. Okay, it works. I wouldn't have grabbed there personally, but I just wouldn't have trusted the grab range. Oh, he's trying to forward here. He's thinking. He's going for anti-airs. About a stock and a half too late to be making this adaption, but he's doing it. You're just not reacting. Like, look, look how look how high up he is, and you're still shooting eggs. Ooh, double roll. Ooh, roll grabs. Bad di. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, you just jumped closer to the blast zone while getting chased by PK Thunder. This is a personal match. You guys are just teabagging each other back and forth. Side B. Oh, do I know him or do I know him? Oh, you're getting outclassed. You got your jump red. Who's he neutral being? Yahoo! Oh, mid combo teabags now. Oh my god. You better not lose. And he teabagged first. He started this. Shit. Oh, dude! Let's go! You're teabagging you! <laughs> They're having the shittiest mid off and they're just teabagging each other back and forth. It's so good. And it's like, it's one sided at this point. Like, the nest is just on the receiving end of these teabags and it is not close. You were like, yeah, I'm trying now. Yep, I'm teabagging. I don't even know how to turbo teabag. Oh, he's holding shield now, too? Yeah, you know what? You you earned these teabags. You adapted. Mind you, you're still mashing side B like a chimpus wimpus. Oh, you suck, Ness. That sucks. You suck. That sucks. Egg sh is mid off, if you will. Is there any way to practice reacting? What a stupid question. Just react. Just stand still and look at what your opponent's doing and then be like, like, you gotta like, all right, you know what? I'll explain it. When, when did I when did I make fun of him for not reacting and throwing egg like an idiot? It was about here. Yeah, so like right here, right? So you should be able to react. So like, Ness stalls when he uppies. You should know that by just looking at him, right? So you have to think. All right, so if he's uppying, he's gonna make it go towards me. Right? So you have to kind of calculate, do I have enough time to run under him and then up air? Should I just cut the middleman out and just jump side B him? Because that would just hit him, you know? But he's just autopilot and presses neutral B. Right, because side B would just go through this whole thing. You gotta like react, like what is, like, what is my best option here, right? My initial choice, right? What I would have done in the moment was try to run under him and try to like up air or forward air or shield the PK Thunder, and then there's still lag after that. So then you like grab and then forward throw him back off stage and rinse and repeat the cycle. You could have just gotten a kill straight up here. I don't even know if he has any Wonder Wing, to be honest. He's got one. No, that's actually, he doesn't have any Wonder Wing. So my option would have been correct, even if I didn't know why. You can even just shield the PK Thunder. The old look at your opponent, not your own character advice. Yeah, it works. There you go. Thank you, Ridley Kong, for submitting this. I appreciate it. I hope you learned a little something about reacting to your opponents, and I hope that you had a lot of fun teabagging this Ness, who clearly deserved it. You guys remember those uh, videos I used to make when I... Actually, I made one pretty recently about reading, like, Smash Reddit Rage. This this Banjo player was definitely on there, on like, about Ness. He hates Ness. He was so proud of this, he had to he had to show Mars. It was awesome. Thank you, Ripley Kong. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Love the Smash Rage content. Th th this is, like, one step away from being Smash Rage content. I like taunting opponents with the option that gave me the kill. Oh yeah, so like if you kill them with up smash, you just start spamming up smash. I do that too. I'm petty.